Apollo 69. So, you're tired of Bandit Camp taking all your scrap? You threw away all your money gambling. Well, no worries. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can scam back Bandit Camp and make infinite scrap in Rust. Recently, I made a video about using compost and pickles to make scrap and rust. I got a lot of positive feedback for the video, including a lot of views and likes, so thanks for all that. Although, a lot of people complained about it being not viable because it takes up too much time, so I set out on a wipe to try it myself, and it worked out decently well. I was making quite a lot of scrap, and if you stuck with it for a day or two, you could be getting thousands of scraps every hour. However, it wasn't that efficient for people who play modded servers, or people who only play for an hour or two, or maybe even a day. So I decided to make a new video on fish farms because that generates more scrap and I'm going to be showing you how you can set it up quickly and get more scrap per hour a lot faster. The way this farm works is by abusing cheap pickle prices. So one pickle will grant you on average one trout and one trout will sell for five scrap. Therefore for one scrap you can buy six pickles which gives six trout which will then give 30 scrap. So you get a 30 times on your investment which is 29 scrap profit per one scrap used. There's three ways to set up your fish traps in my opinion. One is in a simple wooden base, two is in a compound if you can afford it, and three is to just leave them out in the open. There's many places you can hide them or even if you live on the coast it's not that very common that people will run around looking in your fish traps especially if you're isolated in the snowy coast or far away from spawn. Since methods 2 and 3 are self-explanatory, you can just chuck down your fish traps wherever. I'll be showing in this video method 1, which is using a simple wooden base. Obviously mine's tweaked, you'd want to upgrade yours to whatever you can afford. The first step is to gather as much scrap as you can and go buy an inventory of pickles. 300 scrap will convert nicely into one inventory of pickles. I recommend you flying there via a minicopter because then you'll be safe with all your pickles and all your scrap when you do loot transfers. Obviously if you don't have 300 scrap now, you can start off with something simple like 50 scrap, 100 scrap, whatever you want to start out with. However, do note that the more scrap you have, obviously the more it'll multiply and the higher your profits will be. And don't forget that this scrap is going to be times by 30, so the 300 scrap you initially put in will then result in 9,000 scrap. You can't transfer 9,000 scrap worth of trout at once, you can actually only transfer 1,500. That could be 3,000 if you did it with a partner, which means you buy the pickles once, and then you and your partner have to do three trips worth of trout back, and that'll grant you your 9k scrap. You can rinse and repeat this process, but 9k scrap is a lot. A fish trap has 6 slots, that means that you can leave 40 pickles in there leaving 2 spaces, one for the trout and one for the minnows. Because it takes roughly 4 minutes for each trout to be caught, this means that 40 pickles will last you 160 minutes, which is 2 hours and 40 minutes. Alternatively, you could use 50 pickles, which grants you an extra 40 minutes, which means you don't have to check them as often. Instead of 2 hours and 40 minutes, now every 3 hours and 20 minutes. Although I wouldn't recommend this because then you don't get any minnows. However, it does have its upsides if you're going to go AFK overnight, because then you'll get 50 trout instead of 40 when you log in the next morning. There's not really much more I need to say. It's really simple to set up and it's really simple to use. So now all you gotta do is just keep transferring your trout, pickles and scrap, and you'll be making a lot. A simple base like this only has fish traps, and here let me give you some stats about them. Each trap will grant 15 trout per hour, which is 75 scrap once sold at Bandit Camp, times by 10 because this little farm block has 10 fish traps, that's 750 scrap per hour. I would recommend at minimum having one of these sets of 10 per group member, so that means if you're a solo, that's 750 scrap an hour, or if you're up to a quad, that's 3k scrap an hour. If you're a client or zerg and you have someone who's dedicated to staying at home, or you just regularly check in within the base, I'm sure you could easily manage 100 fish traps, which is 10 of these blocks, and that will grant you 7.5k scrap an hour, which is well over a box of scrap before half of the day is even over. A quick disclaimer is that these stats are pulled whilst I was near my fish traps. I am told that if you go away, they do slow down. So it seems a little bit OP at now, but if you're running around doing actual rust stuff, then it's not going to be this strong. However, I do know for a fact that a lot of clan people have people who are dedicated to staying at home, farming, sorting boxes, crafting, that kind of stuff. If they're always going to be around, then it will be this ridiculously OP. Alternatively, if you have people who go AFK a lot, then that's easy. They can just go AFK and the fish will still keep coming in. Or if you're really sweaty, you can set up an alt account and just have them AFK in the base. Up to you. The only kind of difficult part about this setup is actually placing the fish traps. So building a base around them can be a little bit difficult because they're really picky. So you have to be careful when you're placing the base that the fish traps will actually go there. Fish traps themselves won't go in shallow water and they won't go in deep water. You have to find a nice place in between. If you look at the map, you can see right before it's about to hit the water where you can swim, which is noted by the blue water, then you can place your fish traps there. If it's still too shallow, they won't go, so just muck around with the fish trap placements and you can see when it goes from red to blue. 
A nice trick that I found out is if you swipe from left to right, you can set out a nice location. You wanna be building in verticals because that's the easiest way to build. Once you find an area that they'll happily go, you want to place a square foundation down and just follow it up with a bunch of square foundations in a straight line. Make sure whilst you're doing this to be checking on either side that the fish traps will still go there. Go as far as you want or as far as you can until the water changes and then cover the whole thing in triangles and make sure you place walls around those triangles. Then you can start to launch the square foundations and all the triangle foundations that were touching the square foundations. Then place some foundations in the outer parts where there's gaps in the floor and then upgrade everything to what you want it to be at its final stage. Note that the fish traps will get in the way and create an upgrade block. This means that you won't be able to upgrade anything later so upgrade everything to its final form now. Because they're just fish traps, I don't really care that much, so I'm going to be upgrading everything to wood. If you want to upgrade everything to stone or metal, that's fine, however, it's just going to cost you a lot more. Then once you've upgraded everything, you can place your fish traps. However, do note that if you go too far back, people can actually access them through the backs of the wall. And if you place them too far forward, then it's going to be hard to walk in the middle. So place them as I have done here. Then you can seal off your base and you're done. Now all you have to do is maintain your fish traps and transfer the scrap every hour or two. Enjoy the benefits and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. My recent farming videos have been doing really well so a big thank you to everyone who watched them. Feel free to leave suggestions in the comments or even DM me on Discord if you have any queries. Thanks for watching guys.